right, now we're ready to talk about permutation, which is actually quite a bit simpler. Um, really not that hard at all, uh, especially after learning orientation. So let me apply a couple goofy scrambles to this and let's see if we can fix them. Okay, so let's say that we want yellow to be the top and green to be the front. You have to just decide what's, what color is going to be where when you start the when you start the solve. And this actually looks like it might be quite a simple solve. Oops. But, you know, it might not be. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose this is uh, yellow and this is green. So basically we just got to decide what pieces go where after you've decided your color scheme on a 2x2. Two two. Unlike on a 3x3, three three, where you you're, go by where your centers are at, on a 2x2 two two you can go by, you know, whatever piece looks easiest. I always use um, red, white, and blue as my back left corner. Okay, so for permutation, you need, you need kind of an order. And my order is as follows. I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's the order that I use when I'm um, determining the permutation. You don't have to use numbers, but you need an order. And what I mean by that is I always check this piece first, and I look and I know that it's in the wrong spot because it's got white on the top and I want yellow on the top. So this piece actually goes down here, and... Um, Wow, it actually just switches with these two pieces. So these two pieces just switch. So you can remember that a couple different ways. I just remember that by tapping these two pieces a few times until I'm comfortable with it. So I just tap these pieces, tap these pieces, think about it for a sec, and then I'm done. Some people will memorize it just by going 1, 5. 1 goes to 5, 5 goes to 1. So 1, 5. So that's uh, also a very good way of memorizing things, using my numbers. You could also go 1, 5, 1 if you wanted to, but it's kind of redundant. Okay, what else? These two pieces are in the right spot. I can tell because yellow's on top and green's in front, and since this piece matches this piece, you know, it must be right. Uh, what else? Um, so this piece must be wrong. Piece number four goes to seven. Um, this piece goes to this piece. So four, seven, and then, and then seven goes to six, so it's going to be four, seven, six. <laughs> Normally I'd memorize that just by tapping until I'm familiar with it, but we're just going to have to memorize 4, 7, 6 if you want to use numbers. So all we got to memorize here is 1, 5, 4, 7, 6. Pretty simple. So in order to take care of 1, 5, we're going to have to just do some setup moves. Setup moves in permutation are a bit restricted in that we can't do R's or F's um, as quarter turns. We can only do quarter turns on, on up and down. And the reason is that, uh, since all the pieces are oriented correctly, you can see, if we do an R, we screw up the orientation on pieces. If we do an F, we screw up the orientation on pieces. However, if you do like an R2 or something, the orientation remains okay. So that's just a quick side note, um, that you can't really do quarter turns on most of the faces. Okay, so 1-5, how do we take care of that? Well, I think the easiest way to take care of that would just be to do a... Um, Hmm. U2, F2. So now 1 is here and 5 is here, and I can just do a T perm or whatever permutation I want that affects two corners and um, fix those two pieces. Then we just undo the setup move with an F2, U2, and you can see that these two pieces are actually now in the right spot. It's very easy to do. Now we have 4, 7, 6. 4, 7, 6. We've got to bring 4, 7, and 6 all into the top layer. Easiest way to do that is obviously just do an R2. Pretty easy stuff. And now we want to do a um, 4, 7, 6. That's a counterclockwise corner switcher. So we just do a counterclockwise corners. And um, that's that. And then we just have to do the R2 again. And that is how to solve the permutation. One last thing for permutation that needs to be explained. In both those examples, um, it was a very simple case where it was either two cycles or three cycles. Very often, you're going to get cycles that are longer than that. One, five, four, two, six, seven, eight. And that's all one cycle. One goes to five, five goes to four, four goes to two, two goes to six, six goes to seven, seven goes to eight. 8 goes back to 1. And this will happen actually quite often. This is a very bad case 
that it'll happen quite often. This is how you do it. We're actually going to apply three cycles to these and cancel them off bit by bit. So, basically this is how it works. You go in order, so we're just going to do the th first three numbers first. 154. We set up 154 and we do a cycle to it. Basically what happens is 1 goes to 5 where it belongs, 5 goes to 4 where it belongs, and 4 goes to 1 where it doesn't belong. So we still have the wrong piece in spot 1, but 5 and 4 are done. The wrong piece in spot 1 actually now goes to 2. So basically, now we're left with 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. And essentially we just cancelled off the 5 and the 4. Anytime you have a long cycle, and you perform a 3 cycle to the first 3 numbers, it'll cancel off the second 2. It's kind of complicated, but not really once you get used to the idea. So for this, we're just going to do, perform a 3 cycle to the numbers 1, 2, and 6. 2 will be cancelled off, because 1 goes to 2, where it belongs. 2 goes to 6, where it belongs. And 6 goes back to 1, so 6 gets cancelled off as well. And then 6 goes to 1, where it doesn't belong. 1 now goes to 7, and 7 now goes to 8, so we're left with 1, 7, 8, which is a simple case. And since it's a simple case where it's just 3, all 3 will cancel off when we perform that cycle. So as a summary of all that, basically if you perform the cycles 1, 5, 4, it'll cancel off these. Then we perform the cycle 1, 2, 6, and it'll cancel off these. Then we perform the cycle 1, 7, 8, and it'll cancel off everything else. Alright, so armed with all that knowledge, you are ready to do a blind solve. Run out to Walmart and buy one of these. Um, this cost me $3, I think. They're not expensive at all. You're going to want to put that on your forehead. Make sure it's really comfortable, because there's nothing worse than, you know, trying to, you're trying to concentrate on like a million things, but you, your blindfold's itching or something. So make sure it's comfortable. Um... And this is how it works. You gotta do a scramble from Janet Cube or, or CCT or whatever you get your scrambles from. And it's very important that you're not looking at the cube while you're scrambling it. Um, as soon as you're done the scramble, you know, put it down, but don't look at it. Because the second you start looking at it is when you gotta start solving it. So I just put it down, cover it with my hand, and then when I'm ready to start, I start. And I look um, for that piece that I always start out with in the back corner. And, um, Start memorizing permutation first. So for permutation for this, I know it's going to be 1, 6, 3, 5, 1, 6, 3, 5, so then I go to 2, so it's going to be 2, 4, 7. 1, 6, 3, 5, 2, 4, 7. And then for orientation, these three pieces need to go counterclockwise, and um, so these are counterclockwise. This is counterclockwise as well, and this is clockwise. So at that point, I mean, 40 seconds, including me explaining to you, it took me 40 seconds to memorize my, my, my stuff. And then you just, you know, pull a blindfold over your eyes and start solving. Um, what else can I tell you? Something that's also very helpful is that always memorize orientation after you memorize permutation, and always do orientation before you do permutation. Because orientation takes a very short time to memorize, and it takes a very short time to do. So what you can do is you can kind of, you can kind of memorize it kind of half-ass, and then do it real quick, and then just forget about it. I mean, you don't have to memorize it as as solid as you do permutation because you're not gonna have to remember it for very long. Um, for me, like between the time I start memorizing orientation and the, between the time it's done, it's only been about 20 seconds. So it's a very fast step. You don't really have to worry about it at all. That's about all I can think of. Um, Hopefully this has been a big help, and really, I mean, you're probably going to have to watch this video a few times to actually, you know, grasp all the, all the things. It's not really complicated, but if you're new to it, it can be kind of um, overwhelming. Anyways, good luck to you guys. Um, I really hope this comes kind of naturally for you, and, you know, it's a lot of fun. Take it easy.